G'day everybody, X-Ray Racer 1 here and we are, this is part 12 of the X-Ray X1 build series. What we're doing in part 12 is we will be installing the motor and installing the wings. Um, so with this, uh, with this section, so we've installed the steering servo, it's the first part of the electronics, so now we're onto the motor. As I said in the unboxing video, depending on where you live and what country you live in, uh, will determine uh, motor rules uh, for what winding of motor to use. I live in Australia, and the Australian rules are: uh, it is a 21 and a half turn brushless motor. So for this, I'm using a RevTech 21 and a half turn. Um, this is the uh, kill shot version, so it's a it's a pretty damn quick motor. Uh, I had it in my Tamiya F104 Pro version two, and it was pretty good. So for this, um, you will need a pinion gear. Now the gearing gears are 64 pitch, so I'm using for this particular. Um, Car, I'm using a 33 tooth uh, pinion, so we'll just put the pinion gear on and it'll just slide in quite easily. So now we need a 2mm driver and the bolts for it. So it's just a case of lining it up now we're just putting it in loosely at the moment, we'll set the gear me mesh after this so just bear with me a second okay so now the gear mesh what we'll do is we'll just move the motor and how you want it, just give me a quick second while I just tighten this up. Okay, so how you want it to, how they want the gear mesh. Gear mesh is how, obviously, how the teeth are when they go into it, when they drive each other. So you don't want a t tight gear mesh where it's real tight like that, because then what will happen is you'll strip it, because it's just grinding on each other. You don't want it too loose where under load, gears will slip and you'll just burr it off what you want is the gears to be at a point where you see them just clicking like that I'm kind of exaggerating it just so you get an idea but you want the teeth to go click 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 like that so you know that they're gonna drive well and they're not gonna rub and strip each other so you probably can't see it too well on here so here's the thing here's the spur and see how the spur's just moving slightly, a little clicking just back and forth. It's not really, and the pinion isn't moving, so that's how you want it. It look doesn't look right, and you probably can't see the mesh too well. Uh, there you go. Can't probably can't see the mesh too well because of the light, but that's how you want it. All right, so that's the motor in. So now the next part is we are installing the wings. Now, off camera, I have installed the uh, rear wing posts. I've done that off camera. I was gonna do one on, off camera and the other on camera. However, um, X-Ray have, it's not nothing major, but the instruction manual when you say when you follow it, you build the motor pod and you have the back uh, brace here for the wing. You put that on. Then it says to, if I just bring the instructions, it says so that's that part there. So you've got it mounted onto the motor pod. Then it says to put the posts on and the screws through. However, there is an issue. I thought I could get away with it with a ball end hex driver 
problem is, even still with the hex driver, um, it was hitting on the drive shaft or the axle. So what I had to do is I've done it off camera, is I've had to take this off and then put the posts on and then put the brace wing mount brace back onto the motor pod. So when you get to that part, take it off, put the posts on, and then install it back onto the motor pod. So that's just a little tip for you guys. So now we will put the rear wing on. So at this point, we get our old friend thread lock. As always, a little bit. Our wing, two screws, move the lid, and a two millimeter driver. Find the hole, that's what she said. Excuse my big head. Alright, so do it up tight. Not too tight that you split the plastic. Alright. It's starting to look like a Formula One car now, isn't it? So if I put it on its side, it's starting to look the proper thing. Let's do the front part. So first of all, what we need to do is move that off to the side. So what we need to do now, this is basically the rear wing, uh, then you put the actual Lexan wing on top of this. Okay, so now what we need is a little shim and the body post. And we need a screw for it. We need one of those, all right. Give me, just give me a quick second. All right, so, screw through the bottom here. Okay, put the shim on, now for the body post, probably, could probably do with a longer screw, but, and I have a message, woo, excuse me sec folks, I'm about to get butterfingers here. I can see this is going to fight me the whole way, like everything else. It does help if I have the right one. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going full retard. Never go full retard, especially on camera. All right. So now what we do is there should be a little pin in here somewhere. There you are. All right, now it says to put it. Well, it doesn't give you anywhere to put it. So we'll put it on the second hole. And then We get the body post mount. Okay, so we just have to move it a little bit, it's just a little bit off. Not a lot. Oh, too far. There we go. And it should just click on. Like so. Okay, now the next part is two nylock bolts and two large bolts. Okay, so now we'll mount the front, what, what is essentially the front wing to the chassis. Now, like I said to you, 
uh, in the unboxing video, uh, the Tamiya wings will fit. So this is a this is one of the Tamiya wings. It is literally, I'll just move that temporarily. It is literally bolt on like that. So if you want a bit more scale look, Tamiya wing will fit. It just determines the. Um, you might have to put a different uh, body post on, but it will fit. All right, so now what we'll do, put the um, bolts, uh, the nuts in, sorry. And now we'll carefully tip it over on its side here. We will screw it in. And it's a two and a half millimeter screw. Okay, don't don't need to do it up tightly yet. Just go make sure you get the other one in. Okay. Well, there we have it, folks. It is starting to look like a Formula One car. Not bad, eh? All right. So that's the end of part 12. Part 13, we will be installing the electronics. Stay tuned, everyone.